Hey everyone, this is KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts. Gonna give you a little education on the brand new International Phonetic Alphabet. That's right, we have a brand new International Phonetic Alphabet. If you're a ham operator and you've been using all those original phonetics, you know, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, we have new ones that are much more common and easier to understand, like America and Bicycle, Kilowatt, Wackadoo, Dog Food, Roast Beef, Sandwich. I know you're probably like, what? Well, just give you an idea here in a quick video. And I want everybody to understand this because this does not only come from the newer licensed ham radio operators. It seems that a lot of people have gotten very lax when it comes to talking on simplex or VHF, analog or digital repeaters, even through D-Star or Fusion. And we have to put very funny phonetics in our call sign. I've heard stuff like, you know, for example, I'm just making these up now, for example, like a Kilo 4 Roast Beef Sandwich or uh, November 6 uh, GI Joe or uh, WA4 Love Bent Bicycles. Like, wh where are we, you know, I love the one that says, oh, my call sign is Kilowatt ICOM 4. No, it's not Kilowatt ICOM 4. It's Kilo India 4. You got to understand something. When you're using the phonetic alphabet, the reason there are words that were developed many years ago are because when you can't hear the other station because there's a lot of noise or QRM or static or it's a very faint signal, how do you differentiate between Foxtrot and Hot Dog? Okay, H doesn't stand for hot dog, okay? Hot dog cart, no. We're not doing hot dog cart, okay? And some of the people that are doing this, believe it or not, are not the new hams. Some of these hams have been a ham before I was born. And I could tell because I've listened to them on certain reflectors or certain statewide radio networks, and they've been doing this for a long time. Now, there's a time where, let's say you want to talk to somebody and you know you meet them and your their call is kind of hard to remember because some people, it's hard for them to remember your call. And that's why I said in a previous video, when I give my call out, if I'm calling CQ on HF, I'll give it phonetically and with the letters. Uh, KJ4YZI, Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu India. Canadians call it Z. But some people, they just say, oh, well, you can't forget my name or my, you know, my call sign. You're having a hard time with it. Just think of part-time skier. Now, that's a buddy, a buddy I talked to here and there out in California, I think, and he doesn't identify with part-time skier. It is PTS. But when you're talking to him, he'll throw it out there. You know, oh, by the way, name is Nick. I forget his name. He'll shoot me an email. I'm sure he's going to be like, hey, you forgot my call? He'll say, you know, oh, yeah, great talking to you. Um, again, the call sign is, you know, Kilo 6 PTS, like Kilo 6 part-time skier. And that makes it stick in your head a little bit. But you shouldn't go out there and say, CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Kilowatt Japan, uh, Kilowatt Japan for Young Zesty Italian. Like, you don't do that. Now, with that, I'm going to say a challenge. If you're a viewer, I want to challenge you to try to figure out something for my last three you know, alphabet letters there, Y, Z, I. And a friend of mine's wife came up that years ago. She says, you know, I can't think of anything that would be rolling off the top of, the, you know, your tongue uh, off the top of her head like Young Zesty Italian. Like, again, PTS, part-time skier. I've heard a W8 uh, RCF radio control flyer, and he throws that out there, you know, um, and, and when you hear that, even if you're not dialed into the radio, you remember, oh, that's, that's him. I, I forget his name too, but I've heard him out there a couple times. So if you can think of something for YZI, I'd love to see it in the comments, you know. I, I, yellow zucchini inbred. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what you, what you would come up with. But anyways, just if, you know, for the new techs who hear this, if you're a newcomer to the hobby, maybe you hear that and say, that's okay for me to do. I'm going to nickname myself November 7, Bicycle Wheel Rolling. Like, no, we're not going to do BWR. I, I mean, you know, or, or, I mean, believe me, I, I'm not coming up with this stuff. I've heard roast beef sandwich. I've heard, uh, oh, the, the best one. It's in a video in my, in my catalog of videos. Something dog. 
And, and he, he continued to ID this in Arizona. Uh, lazy, sleep, sleeping lazy dog. Like, that's how he ID'd in the contest. Whiskey 7, sleeping lazy dog. Like, over and over and over and over again. And, you know, it's, that's not a good practice. So what's happening is I think newer people are hearing this. And they're saying, is that cool for me to do that? Maybe I'll do that. No, don't do that. You know, again, it's fun to throw it out once in a while when you're, you know, loaf of bread. You know, okay, fine. Uh, really strange alcoholic. Okay, you know, R-S-A, whatever. But, <coughs> excuse me, what's funny is <laughs> some of the new techs or the new licensed hams are all Kilo, Kilo, Four, uh, Romeo, Juliet, Kilo. Like, they're, they're very proper because that's what they were told. Like, hey, you got to be careful with this. you got to make sure you say your words right, you know. And, you know, they still have to mellow out a little bit. And, be, you know, it's, it's scary when you first get on the radio. But I don't want them to hear that first say, oh, this is no big deal. <laughs> I can do this myself. Uh, uh, kilo 7 bent bicycle basketball. Like, no. no. Okay. I, I go, now you get the hint. You're probably like, you're rambling. Uh, anyways, I hope you watched this video. And uh, just take it into consideration. Nobody wants to yell at you, but somebody's got to step up and say this. And I'm doing it, and then you can beat me up on the air later and tell me I'm a loser, But which will happen in my emails and everything else. And you've been doing ham radio longer than I have. But let's keep it to the international phonetic alphabet. Let's do it together. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, Zulu, or my Canadian friends, Z. That is the International Phonetic Alphabet. Look it up on Google, learn it, practice it. You don't have to be an expert in ham radio. You don't have to know everything there is. Just get in the habit of using the right letters. 7-3 guys, thanks for watching. KJ4YZI. That's Young Zesty Italian.